This is where it all started for me years ago on the Scobia Trail. If you want to see where we go from here, just hit subscribe. A year on the road. How do you like that sunset? That's a beauty, eh? So here we are, backside of the beast. Letting her cool down a bit. Just returned from our first trip on a year on the road. We took five days, swung north up through the Twin Cities, up into Rice Lake, the Blue Hills, got on some skinny skis, a bit like Bambi going across the ice. First couple uh, skis took a while to get my feet underneath me. It's a little different from roller skiing, but Bjorn at out there who started me skiing They've got a great shop there in Rice Lake. If you're ever in, stop and say hi. Also stop by Badger Brew. Phenomenal little coffee shop. Also check that out. And then got out on the Tuscobia Trail for some fat tires. It's good to have balance, you know? Skinny skis, fat tires. So a great, great trip. And then headed up north, west to Duluth to hang out with great friend, fat biking machine, and mentor, Todd McFadden. Trails right out their back door up in the hills outside of Duluth. Phenomenal time. Got to hang out with him and Diana, his wife. Great hosts. And then cruise down to Cloquet. Cloquet, rhyme with crochet? I'm not sure not too far south of Minnesota to uh, meet Jeff Rock who if that name rings a bell probably means you've seen a thousand miles to Nome he was one of our featured athletes in that great movie and I don't mind if you're not paying attention to any of this and you're just watching that sunset because that's a pretty sun sweet pretty sick sunset even even for Iowa that would uh, that would hold its own anywhere in the country. But just got the beast back. It's gonna be a busy, busy 2020. We added a couple new tile titles. We have two new books coming. The next book in the collection will be Tales from the Trail, Life Lessons Learned from Going Long. And then to complement the recently released movie of the same name will be 1,000 Miles to Gnome, the book. So look for those in 2020. And then, and then, and then, we have two movies that we have the green light on. One will be the Arrowhead 135, and the other will be the Queens of Kanza. Super excited about both of them. Arrowhead 135 is pretty self-explanatory. I think it's safe to say it's the classic one or two day race, winter race in the United States big long tradition really really well done but the Queens of Kanza that's a project we're super excited about they've been pushing to get 200 women doing 200 miles now for a few years and 
The Queens of Kanza will be a documentary on the female athletes of the Dirty Kanza. Should be a really great project. We're super excited to partner with Jim and his entire staff. Christy, just gonna be fantastic. Treva, too many people to, to mention that are involved in making that great event happen. So that's it for episode two of A Year on the Road. I gotta make sure I do this right. My sister who handles all our social media to follow along, to subscribe, check the info and link in this post and you'll get notified for every episode, every trip. Now that the final modifications are done on the Blue Beast, we'll head out in a week. Who knows where we will end up in this year on the road. Happy holidays and thanks for following along.